I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Smitty TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with actor-producer Saroosh Sadie. How does it feel to have your short film, Emily 2050, screening at the Carlton tomorrow? Uh, very excited. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a long process. We shot this film about 10 months ago. Um, it was a very uh, um, CG-driven film. Um, the film is in the future, it's in 2050, so there's a lot of aspects that we had to consider before uh, shooting this film. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of motion tracking. Um, we had a uh, dedicated uh, director, R.D. Ariane, who put a lot of time in creating this, uh, this robot. And uh, it's a good feeling to kind of um, uh, see your end result in the big screen Absolutely. and at the Carlton, so it's great to, to have it there, yeah. And as you said, the film is based in year 2050. Do you think it's a realistic portrayal of what it might be like uh, in how many years? I'm really bad at math. Um, it's about... Uh, 36 years? Um, approximately. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we picked 2050 because we actually wanted to be realistic and, mm -hmm. and to, to take that approach of, of how, uh, how dot on we could be in terms of uh, um, uh, technology and what really happens in that world. We're not, we haven't really showed uh, the exterior of the world as much as we can. We're mostly inside because this is a story of a girl that uh, programs robots for a living. And, uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's kind of in her uh, sanctuary where everything happens. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've, uh, we, we've tried our best to make it realistic and, and to be able to uh, match what it would be like to be uh, in, in the year 2050 and a year that robots are, are um, they're taking active roles and, and they could actually replace uh, humans mm -hmm. and uh, in households as, as servants or butlers, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. And did you have any scenes with the robot and what was it like acting against something that was CG? Um, that was a challenge as an actor because uh, um, when, you, uh, when, you, when you're when you acting with something that is not there, you kind of have to take it into consideration the movements and etc. because of motion tracking and everything that the director had to do. So. Uh, it's like you're acting, but you're not really getting a um, someone else to act with you. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of work as as double as hard, I guess, as an actor to kind of see that and to pretend that like it's there. And then in the post production process, you realize that oh, okay, if I couldn't go right or if I couldn't go left, it was because there was an object in front of me. Mm -hmm. So it was very cool. It was definitely a, a different experience um, um, acting with something that's not there. And I hope that uh, it looks good. Great. What do you hope that audiences take away from the film? Um, uh, passion, mm. because the theme of the film is passion, and uh, it's about a girl that has passion and she loves robots, and she's willing to uh, go through um, a lot of difficult times to prove her point to the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think from day one when we started this film, our little short project, um, there was a lot of passion and heart and dedication put into this from, from our director, from everyone that was involved in this film. And, uh, and I hope that people will go away knowing that uh, uh, in Toronto, there's a lot of talent, and there's talented people that could do things, and, and hopefully we can uh, kind of broaden our reach to, towards more projects and better projects with bigger budgets and, and, and more stuff. Have you always been a fan of robots, or are you a big robot guy? Um, this is probably the first uh, uh, CG film I've worked on. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really a fan, but when I, uh, because I was involved as a producer, and I got in, and I saw the amount of work that went in to create this, this, this character uh, in the film, and afterwards, you see it. It's like a baby that you that that that, that it's created, and then you, you see him kind of nurture and and, and live and etc. So it was definitely a challenge, but it was it was fun, and uh, I would definitely do it again. And tell me a little bit about your character in the film. My character. Mm -hmm. uh, my character's name is Eli. Uh, he's actually an English guy. Ah, a futuristic lovely. Do doctor. Um, he's a futuristic doctor. He's a very um, underground guy. He's been uh, banned by the government because he's been ahead of his time. So he's the guy that basically knows the technology, and Emily, which is the lead character in the film played by Ashley, um, kind of um, is dependent on this guy, because this is the guy that um, is, has been ahead of his time, and he knows the ins and outs of, of robots and et cetera. Mm -hmm. So it's a very freaky character. It's a very um, uh, gr great part. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I, that I got to play this guy. Yeah. Okay. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on the film online? Um, the film is on Facebook, um, Emily2050. It has its own page. It's all, also all over Vimeo. We have created a video, which is about 25 minutes uh, in length, which explains the process of the making of the film, mm -hmm. and from beginning to end, and how we, we were managed to raise the funds for it, and the casting process, and the people that were involved. 
and uh, we have uh, submitted it to festivals. Last night were some of the deadlines for the festivals that we were, uh, me and Artie, our director, were managed to send it out. And uh, it's pretty much all over, all over the net and internet. And uh, we hope that we can get it into festivals and have more screenings and, and get the name out there and hopefully more projects and more interviews with you, Katie. Great. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Congratulations and best of luck with the film. I appreciate it and thank, thank you for the interview. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.